Wouldn't it be funny if we filled this piano with 100 liters of water, we closed the lid and then hired the piano tech to figure out what's wrong with it? Yeah, that definitely doesn't sound right. Because I've already done the work of making sure the piano is 99% waterproof. But in that video, I actually ended up destroying the piano because I wanted to see if the piano would leak, kind of like a fountain. Oh my! So I had to spend three weeks repairing it only to fill it up again today. But now it plays almost perfectly. Yeah, sounds almost epic. Now when I got 1 million subscribers, let's try using the sponsor of this video, Honey, to buy my first pack of piano lessons. All we need to do is hit apply discounts during checkout. Now we wait for Honey to search the internet for promo codes and boom, we just saved $4 from essentially doing nothing. Yeah, but we actually need to take the lessons now. Yeah, try, try to raise the finger like this. Honey works for things you're already buying on sites that you're already shopping on and it's completely free. I don't care enough about discounts to go look for them myself. That's the truth. So if Han is going to do that work for me and end up saving me money, I don't complain. Oh, by the way, the piano lessons, you might wonder how it goes. I will show you. Yeah, we're screwed. So right now, please add Honey to your browser at joinhoney.com slash Matthias Kranz. That's joinhoney.com slash Matthias Kranz. Let me know in the comment if you actually add it. I mean, you can do it out of sympathy. Okay, so the piano tech is in the house right now. I told him I had to fix some video equipment. We're actually going to fill up the piano quickly. I can't spill either because that will spoil it all. He might be mad, I don't know. This time the water has corrosion inhibitor, so hopefully that works. Okay, that's enough. I hope this dries. It's not leaking yet at least. Yeah, that definitely doesn't sound right. I spilled. I gotta tell him I peed on myself. We better fix that. I had some problems with this piano. I tried to fix them myself, but now it just sounds kind of muted. So maybe you can try and see if you can identify the problem. It's, it's, hmm. it's very low in sound, right? Yeah. Sounds like there is felt on the strings. Oh, like something. I muted the strings. Yeah, it sounds like uh, on a cembalo you have, or on harpsichord you have like a mute stop or like a like a lute stop. I think it's called. Yeah. Where it's just like a felt pressed against the strings, and it sounds kind of like. I don't think this solution is as convenient. Do you think it sounds good or horrible? I, I mean, you, you can play it. I mean. Okay, oh, okay, so it's kind of... Well, it, it is playable, but it, it, it doesn't sound... Okay. The tuning is not on point, really. <laughs> no. Is this why it's, it's slanted? Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised that it's that it's so much in tune as it is. <laughs> I've never seen those. <laughs> but this right. is only the underwater mics. You don't hear that at all without headphones. No. The scratch. Water and pianos in combination sure is it's a nightmare in every <laughs> in every sense. So so I guess this is taking that to an extreme. So I, yeah, I guess I guess it's torture. <laughs> but I heard people putting like water buckets inside the pianos to keep it humid. Yeah. Yeah, here, here in Sweden that's really common because our winters are dry, like infinitely dry. <laughs> you don't think I would have that problem? 
So you would say that this is like the worst piano you have ever, ever seen in your entire life? I think so. <laughs> okay, I don't need to torture anymore. Maybe we should listen to... Pianos, pianos that you find in garages are usually quite bad. <laughs> but this is, yeah, this is another level. It's not leaking though. No, that... Not yet. That's, that, that's quite impressive, honestly. <laughs> You did you did restringing yourself? Yeah. I, I, I want to try to tune it. Oh yeah, I have. Did a, you have it tuned? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just wonder how it will feel. Oh. <laughs> I I'm just curious. Oh goodness. Do you wait? Do you want to? No, you can no, use mine. No. Oh no. You can use mine. Oh. <laughs> I can't hear you. It kind of, it kind of feels the same. That's the, uh, that's kind of surprising. Oh, you mean like the feel of tuning the string when it's on the? Yeah, it's. It kind of feels like because it's a new string, right? Yeah, yeah. You said, uh, yeah. This is new strings, but I, I wouldn't waste new uh, bass strings, so no. th they are reused. This is kind of thing with with uh, with a piano that sound, which that is this just muffled and, and damped. It's like the unison. You can have it. It doesn't need to be more in tune than it can be like two hertz or whatever. But you you won't hear it because it's just there. It's in tune. <laughs> Like if, if you have a balance board between like how much work you put in you put into it and how much you get out of it, this is like way yeah. <laughs> like you know those charts S tier right and then it's A B C D E F. Where would you put the water piano? At, at the bottom of the ocean. So I am a bit disappointed that the piano tech didn't like this piano. I actually thought he would be like, wow, this is awful, but it sounds kind of interesting. I guess lesson learned, if you want to impress your piano technician, maybe you shouldn't fill your piano with 100 liters of water. Maybe. <laughs>